G'day guys, what we're doing today is learning how to clone yourself. You're going to need your iPhone and you're going to need Snapseed. And that's about it. Let's get into it. This video here today came from a comment that I got on social media about the pano run that I did and they asked how do I do this when I'm on my own. So that's how this video came about. So um, leave your comments down the bottom there. I generally get to these things in time. I might make another video, I might just answer you directly and might do both. So uh, look, if you're into mobile photography, I do two videos a week, one on fr Fridays, a five minute Friday and one on a Monday. And generally it's going to be all about mobile photography, small lens photography, um, astrophotography, bit of editing, that sort of thing. So if that sort of thing interests you, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. All right guys, let's get into this video. What we're doing today is a cloning technique using your iPhone and Snapseed. You're gonna end up with a photo just like this one here. Why would you do this? Well, you can do it with a pano run. I've done that before and I'll link it up the top here. But what we can also do it with is just a regular scene without moving a camera. You can do it with just one person and this is how we do it. First, we just need to set up a camera so that the iPhone camera so that you've got enough composition as in the area that you're going to take a photo of and you're going to stand in this photo multiple times to make sure it's going to work. Set up the timer for a 10 second timer and then go and put yourself in the photo. Let the photo run, come back, make sure it's right, take another photo, moving into that another position, take another photo, move into another position and then do another one and you can do as many as you want. Once you've done those, you need to go through and select your photo from each one of those. So every, every time that you do a timed photo on an iPhone, it gives you a 10 a photo burst. And the reason for that is that when you're taking a photo, someone might blink or something like that. So you need to go through those photos and select the one that you want. So we'll do that here. So once we've taken the photos, what we wanna do is open it up in Snapseed, open any one of the photos that you've just taken, we'll go with this one here. And obviously what we're gonna do now is open up the double exposure. So we'll go into tools, go to double exposure, add image, find any one of the other three photos that we've just taken. I'll go with the one where I'm sitting in the middle, go to transparency, turn the opacity all the way up to 100% and hit the tick. What we're going to do now is go up the top and we're going to view the edits. We'll go to double exposure and we're going to go to the paintbrush that's there and we're going to mask out some of the uh, other image. So what we do now is paint over where we were in that previous photo. So what I'm doing there is painting over the edit of the double exposure. I hit the tick and there's two of us. So now I go tools, double exposure, open image and go to the third photo on this, side, on this one I'm sitting over on the left hand side there. Transparency, we're doing exactly the same thing here. Transparency, turn the opacity up to 100%, hit the tick, go to view edits up to the last double exposure, which is the top one. So all these edits are ascending in order. Hit the paintbrush and we paint in where I was in that last photo. Hit the tick, hit back, and there we are, three of me. Plenty of people will be worried about that, having three of me. Anyway, that's how you do it. 